I am Anil Kumar sharing with you different ways of finding square root of a whole number. In this exercise, we will calculate square root by prime factorization. We have two examples here. First one is square root of 225 and the second one is square root of 196. Now let's do prime factorization and see what are the factors for the given numbers. So 225, you know, they end with 5, so we can divide by 5. Let's divide 225 by 5. 5 times 4 is 20, and then 25 is 5 times 5. Now, 45 is 5 times 9, and 9 is 3 times 3. Now, from here, what you notice is set of prime factors which could be multiple of themselves, right? 5 times 5 and 3 times 3, correct? So we can write square root of 225 as 5 times 5 times 3 times 3, right? So clearly, since it is 5 squared, the square root of 5 squared is 5, and this is 3 squared, square root of 3 squared is 3. So we can write this as 5 times 3 and Therefore, we get our answer as 5 times 3 as 15. So, square root of 225 is 15. So, we can easily find square root of a perfect square. So, this is a perfect square. Let me write the word perfect square here. By prime factorization. Let us repeat this process for 196 also. So 196, let's do prime factorization. Now 196 is an even number. So let us divide it by 2. So if I divide by 2, I get 2 times 9 as 18, left with 16, 2 times 8. Again, we can divide by 2. So 2 times 4 is 8 and 49. 49 is 7 times 7. 7 times 7 is 49. So you can see here that we have set of numbers, right? 7 times 7 and 2 times 2. And therefore, we can write square root of 169 as square root of 2 square times 7 square, right? And that means the square root is equal to 2 times 7, which is equal to 14. So when I write a dot in between, it means multiplication, okay? I could have written them in brackets also. So with the help of prime factorization, we can club the similar numbers which multiplied to themselves and find square root. I hope you appreciate this technique. It's a very useful technique and it always works. Thank you and all the best.